So, Peter, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. OK, Stephen. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. I was in my bed in Kingston, which is now my brother's bed. Uh, I had played golf with my dad. I'd lost. I went upstairs. I was very upset because I'd lost. <laughs> and I was obviously, at the time, very nervous to find out and anxious to find out whether I was going to be Spider-Man or not. So I was scrolling through Instagram constantly, refreshing the feeds, to try and find information or inside information. But Marvel had posted a photo of Spider-Man. And they essentially said, go to our website to find out who the next Spider-Man is. So I'm like, naturally, really disappointed though, because... You didn't get a call. Yeah, I didn't get a call. So right. I assumed that I hadn't got the job. Right. I um, Dang. went to the website. I didn't even think about that. And I just was like, mm. I'm going to just check, right. just in case. Yeah. Right. And I, I was really upset about yeah. it, obviously. I opened the thing and it said, we are proud to announce that our new Spider-Man is from Southwest London, is Tom Holland. I was like, what the... <laughs> Slam the computer down, freak Cut out. <laughs> Cut yeah. to. I'm like running Next around movie. the house and I um I'm like screaming, my brother's like losing their minds because you know they're all part of the process with me. That is so sweet. That's and so then amazing. Harry rightly so said, like, bro, like they've probably been hacked because there's no way they wouldn't call you. Leave it to Harry to be like, mm. yeah, yeah, I don't believe like, it. Yeah. Like sense, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's no way you. So I called my agents. This was very early in LA. Like it was, it was in the morning. They were up. They were like, we've heard the news. We're trying to figure out whether it's true or not. And then I was in my garden, pacing back and forth, kind of, you know, over the moon with the news, but also worried because I didn't know if the news was right. real news. Right. And then I got a phone call from a plus one number. Right. Three one zero. Kevin Feige called me and he told me that I was going to be Spider Man, and it was crazy. Love it. Wow. Hello, Peter. Yeah, that was a, an interesting occasion, actually. I was flown to Atlanta to shoot for Civil War, Captain America Civil War, with the Russo brothers. My first scene was a fight scene with Captain America himself. So as you can imagine, as a young fan, that was kind of crazy. But the thing is, is they'd already been shooting with my stunt double. Mm. Marvin had been shooting for like six or seven weeks before I'd even been <laughs> cast, and he was much bigger than me. Mm. And you guys know how long it takes to make the suits. I mean, mm. it takes up to 14 weeks to make a single suit. Um, so rather than making me my own one, they just said they were gonna tailor Marvin's to me. Now Marvin is like 6'1", he's big, <laughs> and I am not 6'1", and not very big. So when I went into the room, I saw the suit hanging there on the hanger. I asked them if they could close all the mirrors so that when I put it on, I could see it for the first time when Aww. it was on. So I'm there, I'm putting the muscle suit on, I'm putting the helmet on, I put my arms through the whole thing. And when they opened up the thing, it was like, it looked like a scrotum. Like it was like <laughs> a saggy, gross, like foreskin Spider-Man suit. <gasps> Because it wasn't tight at all. It was just like loose and gross. Not a scrotum suit. So, ah. Not the scrotum. Yeah. Not the scrotum suit. I want Funko Pop to make yeah, a Spider-Man scrotum, scrotum suit. suit. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, uh, that's what um, it was like. And it was very disappointing. But, you know, now I've had many of my own suits that fit perfectly oh. and are very young. We tampered with the stability of space-time. Multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. You know, it's funny because um, the first movie, I was uh, in it for, I think, a total of three minutes. <laughs> Best three minutes. No Impact. such thing as, as small parts. Impactful three minutes. Okay, just small actors. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I am... Um, <laughs> yeah, we were, the piss out of us I know, we're actually actors. very short. No, I was just saying, I'm, I'm neither. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> um, no, it was. Um, it was actually. It was. It was so for the first time uh, being on the first movie, I just was blown away because I was there and all this stuff was happening, but I didn't really get to be there very, very much. You know, so I, I didn't really get to be a part of much of the action. It was really, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I, I never absorb it all. I think it right. wasn't even. Even remember that one time we had to wake up at like the butt crack of dawn and yeah. go into London for that for yeah. the big. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thing. We're like right. we were running yeah. outside of the freaking Tower of London. Right. At like mm -hmm. five in the morning. <laughs> right. From 
something that obviously would be later put in in yeah. visual effects and right. such things. And I was like, this is like the craziest thing yeah. I've ever done in my life. I'm with my <laughs> friends. I am screaming and running from drones that aren't yeah. there yet. Right. And I'm in London. I am in a historical landmark. Right. And it's an amazing. It, it yeah. Is I was it like, people crazy. have gotten their head chopped off here. Yeah. I'm Berlin. Was it like, Berlin? My, no. Tons yeah. of people. Yeah, tons of people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it never really sinks in. Every time I feel, I don't know, it feels like a dream steal. Yeah, still. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I was just really excited to go and travel, you know, yeah, the world with all my friends, you know, and I think that we didn't really understand that we'd be part of the action a bit more. Yeah. And I think for me, we, there was parts where we, we were running from like big explosions and things like that. So it was very much a lot of firsts for us. Again, I think the whole idea, just like just remembering all the things we did and like trying to wrap my mind around traveling the world and doing all these things with all these fun people. I think that it really opened up my world in a sense that like I was very closed and very much not really worldly. So really getting to work in Prague and oh, in Venice yeah. was like in the most beautiful places. It really, I was just really fortunate to be there. It was like a really big European vacation, as, yeah. it, as it were. So, um, as it were. I always get them really confused. They're like, homecoming, far from home, no way home. I'm like, which one is far from home? <laughs> far from home and no way home. Yeah, yeah it too, it's too it close jumbled. together. Yeah, 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 I get it jumbled up. <laughs> That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. I mean, this film definitely explores uh, how important Peter's secret identity is because, obviously, at the opening of this film, it's revealed to the world that he is Spider-Man, and that comes with its, you know, a whole plethora of problems. I think... And he's a villain. And he's a villain. Like, everyone thinks he's a supervillain. Mm. But the thing that really makes Spider-Man tick is the fact that Peter Parker has so much humility and I think that's what kind of sets him apart and it's why people really love him as a superhero and because he has so much humility it makes him an easy target for supervillains because they can basically snatch up his friends and he's always going to do the right thing he doesn't mind sacrificing himself for the people that he loves so it's definitely something that's very important I know that when they told us that they were going to reveal it that all of our reactions were like, don't do that. Yeah. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. Please yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Oh, our story's going to change. But in turn, it was a great idea because it gave us so much creative freedom to kind of find new aspects of these characters that we already know and love. Mm -hmm. So as a creative standpoint, from a creative point of view, it was really helpful. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. Eyes on me. Because uh, both of you, I can feel both of you. Yeah. Um, okay, so some of the greatest moments um, I cannot talk about for obvious reasons. So my second, third, and fourth greatest moments <laughs> I will have to pick from. To watch, I my favorite one of these movies, and I feel like I'm not biased because I'm not in it very much, is Homecoming. I just love being able to see like little, little us, us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and see and see you know Peter. What's special about that movie to me is that it's like it really gets to explore Peter just as a kid. Peter Parker, we often forget, is just a teenager, and I think that's the most teenagery we've seen him ever. So that was special, and the scene of you guys in the car with Michael Keaton is one of my favorite scenes of all time. And then I would say my favorite one to shoot. Other than you know, then the one, then. Um, <laughs> the <good ones. laughs> would be things I can talk about. Um, I just think anything where we can do stunts together. Yeah, it's always really fun. Anything yeah. where we can do a scene together. I, I try to be the mom of the group. I try to hold us together and keep us focused. But <laughs> what can I say? Uh, my first scene with RDJ in Civil War will be, forever be something I'm so proud of because I just remember how like nervous I was that day. You know, I'm very lucky now that when I come to make these movies, you know, I bring all of my friends with me. My hair and makeup artist, my costumer, my dialect coach, my security guard, my brother, they're all my friends from home. But when I went to do that movie, I went by myself. I was like 18, 19. So to, to see that play out the way it did was awesome. I love the scene in Endgame where Captain America with that amazing like swooping shot where Captain America catches the hammer and he's like, Avengers assemble, because Evans was like four or five people down from me. And the direction was, as soon as he says assemble, everyone then screams and charges towards the enemy. But because he was so far away, I couldn't hear him say assemble because he says it to himself. So he went, Avengers! And then I just went, 
<laughs> and ran off by myself. <laughs> and I was like, I had to like, I got like 30 feet and then I had to turn around and like walk back to like Aww. all of my childhood <laughs> heroes and be like, sorry guys, I got that wrong. <laughs> that was a highlight for me. It's tough to choose one specifically because everything that I've done has been super special to me because I've never really done film before Spider-Man. I would say the first day that I worked on the film and I'd say the first time we all really hung out together is probably all my favorite moments in my life. And again, a lot of the cool stuff that we get to do in this movie is probably some of the highlights of my career as well. So, yeah. They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. It really did feel like the trilogy was ending. You know, the last day of shooting for us was incredibly emotional. And I think, you know, we all went into this film kind of unsure as to what the future of Spider-Man looks like. Um, Amy has come out and said that there is this future trilogy, but we're not, you know, that is, it's a conversation. You know, bless her, we're talking about what the future of Spider-Man might look like. Whether or not we are involved in that future, we are not too sure yet. I think I speak for all of us as saying it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. But maybe we should take a little break. Who knows? But I do know that on that day, it was very emotional. John was very emotional. Amy was very emotional. And it was fun. It was an amazing day, and I will never forget it. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not going to take this away from me. Peter. You're struggling. Damn it. Everything you want while the world tries to make you choose.